Life is a winding road. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have you on my little tripod. I don't want to take out like my big tripod because the kids are awake. But today, as you see here, I have two of the panels here. I'm going to be putting up the panels for the accent wall. I'm so excited to finally be able to start this. I'm not going to get to painting today, but I'm just going to put it up and then caulk everything so it's all nice and dry for tomorrow. Just getting it up in itself. It's easy, but it's not. I just have to make sure I cut all the wood correctly. Right now, they're all eight foot tall, and the only ones that I don't have to cut are the ones that go at the top and the ones that go at the bottom. All the other ones, I have to cut. So like, I'm going to start with just doing the bottom one first since it's like the easiest one I guess so let's do that Sorry about the lighting, but I didn't measure it. It's 88 and 5 eighths tall now, so I'm gonna go outside and go cut. I'm losing sun here. All of the panels are up. So this is everything that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna go through and caulk all of the edges. And then I'm gonna go through with the spackle to fill in all the holes from the nails. Once it's all dry, I'm gonna sand it, put the tape, caulk again so I can have straight lines. And then I'm gonna begin painting. Okay, so I started around, I think it was about four o'clock. So it took me almost three hours to put the wall up. It's a lot of cutting, going outside, coming back inside, and then having to keep doing that after I cut every single one because I decided to measure each spot individually versus just cutting the same size for all three like I learned that mistake from previous projects so that definitely is what took the longest even though caulking is not my favorite so I know it's gonna take me a while to caulk Hey guys, it's been a few days. Um, last time I talked to you guys was Saturday. I was doing the caulking and filling in all of the holes and stuff. I thought I was done caulking, but the next day I realized I missed a few spots, but I ran out. So I ended up going yesterday. Today is Tuesday. It's been a few days. I had to take a break. So I went yesterday and I got more caulk. And then last night I filled in the spots that I was missing. It was just a noticeable area that I needed to do before I could paint. And now I'm going to go through and tape up the top of the wall and the sides. And then do caulk along the lines too so I can have that nice straight crisp line. Let that dry. And then I'm going to start with painting. I am gonna have to apologize though. It is pouring rain outside. So the lighting in the living room sucks right now It is just incredibly dark. So this is what it looks like all caulked in now You see there's no gaps at the top or anything which is nice and then on the sides There's no gaps and I do have the kids with me. This is what I'm gonna have to work with today Unfortunately, let me see how much these kids are gonna actually let me do. I did forget to sand those holes I'm gonna go through that very quickly and just sand a couple of the holes down I finished caulking. While that's drying, I'm just gonna do the trim on the inside ones. The caulk says it takes 30 minutes to dry until I can paint it. So, first coat of paint is going up.
you guys, this is the first coat. So I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and I'm gonna go back and do the second coat. I think it just needs one more coat. And then I'm gonna have to go over it a couple times here because you can still see where that old color was. But I love it, it looks so pretty. It looks so much darker on camera than it does in person. It's actually not that dark, but I love it. I'm always so nervous to take the tape off because this could add like a whole another hour to my job. Mm, so satisfying. All right, you guys, the wall is finally done. Sorry, we finally got a little bit of sunlight in. It took about, Milena, really? It took about three hours to put up the panels, two hours to caulk it, one hour to kind of like prep it, and then maybe another three, four hours to paint it. So it was a pretty big project, but it looks so good, you guys. Let's consider this part one of the living room makeover because up next, I have to go and buy all the things for it. I want to get a coffee table, basically taking back my living room. No longer going to have the kids play nook in here. So, okay, let me stop talking. Let me show you guys what it looks like now. It looks so good, you guys. I'm so happy with how it came out. And now I have to get to work on the TV console that's gonna go right underneath of here. I'm gonna be sanding that down and staining it to a nice brown color to kind of match the kitchen cabinet. So stay tuned for part two of the living room makeover. I'm gonna try to get almost everything thrifted and take you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. As always, I appreciate your love and support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving